Hello everybody. So it's a wonderful, wonderful year uh, and uh, it's a wonderful moment. It's uh, great to be back. I'm super excited guys to be here with you again. Um, my name is Mr. Thomas Tleo. Uh, some of you knows me by Market Switch. That is another name of uh, that I'm using on, uh, on, on, on social media and uh, other places. It's a business name. All right, guys. Um, I, I, I have been doing lot, lots of research regarding my own strategy, market makers quotes, because, you know, the market, forex market, as you know, is very dynamic, very dynamic. Things keeps on changing every now and then. And uh, given that we have a lot of things going on around the globe right now, uh, so uh, we expect a lot of, 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 of changes in the forex market. And uh, yes, uh, it's not static, it's dynamic. Forex market is very, very dynamic. So you have to upgrade, you have to, uh, to, to, to update your trading strategies every now and then to see what works better uh, and what doesn't work so that you, you, you are on the right track. So today, I want to share with you guys with what I've come uh, up with. Uh, it's an adjustment to my MMC strategy. You may call it a modification or an adjustment. That's, that's okay. Uh, I call this MMC clean sheet. Why do I call this MMC clean sheet? Because once you are able to follow this, once you are able to understand how to navigate on this one, uh, you will always be on the profit side. You will always be on the profit side. Trust me, you will always be on the profit side. All right, guys. So what what is it? All right. Uh, there is n no so much uh, uh, new things. There is no uh, many new things in this because we are still navigating on MMC uh, 40 days MMC and this time we'll be navigating on 40 days MMC and 10 days MMC so that we can see how we can combine the two and then at the end we get that uh, powerful and wonderful results. All right, guys. So let's take an example of gold. Uh, how MMC clean sheet works. First of all, you have to open your uh, instrument. This, in this case, we have gold XAU USD, and uh, we have to start with uh, uh, 40 days MMC. You go to four hours time frame. There, you come to four hours time frame. Once you are on four hours time frame. Uh, remember, you have to watch my other videos regarding uh, daily separation and etc. Et how you count the days, etc. etc. So I'm starting somewhere to the middle uh, because I'm assuming that you have already watched my other videos. All right, guys. Okay, so once you are on uh, on four hours time frame, once you are on four hours time frame, uh, then what do you do? You just uh, count 40 days MMC, you just set up 40 days MMC, and then today is Sunday, so we start counting from when the market closed here on Friday, I mean previous Friday, uh, as I explained when I started uh, 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 other videos regarding MMC, so we start counting from here, so if we, if we are counting 40 days, that means we are going to count 8, uh, uh, eight separation, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six seven eight that means up to this point every pre separator on four stop time frame represent five days every pre separator on four time frame represent five days that means when you count eight that is that means you have 40 days uh in one place 40 days so you put a demarcation there horizontal a, a, a vertical line like that and then here vertical line like this and then uh here you have uh you have the highest price reached uh within what it is the highest price and then you mark the lowest price reached within uh the 40 days and then you come to the second highest second highest which would be somewhere there and uh the second lowest which will be uh somewhere there and then uh after you are done with that after you're done with that uh, then you 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 now uh, put your five bonus five bonus 
fibonacci retracement from the trough here to the peak uh, so that we can see the fibonacci numbers the fibonacci numbers right right just put there so you it has to be exactly at this point right good now after I'm, I'm done with that after i'm done with that then i have 23.6 fiber level 38.2 fiber level 50 fiber level 61.8 fiber level 78.6 fiber level 88.6 fiber level now uh what i'm going to do i'm going, just going to watch where the price is the price is somewhere below 23.6 fiber levels and somewhere above uh, 38.2 fiber levels that's where the price closed on previous friday now um i'm also going to see if i have any any pattern uh there so when, when i look at this i see this top here right there is this top and this top that means you have double top there you have double top right this one here and you have another one right so you have double top sorry uh, right there so you have double top there and then after this double top, after after this double top formation you had the price responding to this uh, reversal pattern by moving down right the price not did that the price has to reach the neckline yet the neckline of this double top is somewhere here right the neckline of this top is somewhere here and we know we know the we know the principle so the price has to reach the neckline uh, for this to be called the first level for this to be called first level so the price is somewhere somewhere here that means there is still an opportunity for price to come down to this point which is near 78.6 fiber levels now for this to complete this movement uh, for this to complete this movement for so that this movement can now qualify to be called level one level one now this is not uh, a big issue now the big thing that you need to keep in mind or the most important thing that you need to keep in mind is what is going to happen and where will it will be my entry point when the market open on monday remember today is sunday and uh, we are analyzing the market while the market is still closed now for us to be able to understand clearly for us to be able to understand clearly what uh, will be our end point when the market open on monday or uh next week because sometimes you know i advise people not to trade on monday because there is a lot of market correction on monday uh all right so what are we going to do um um, after i'm done with that so now i know that uh, uh that this one is a bearish it's a bearish according to 40 days mmc it's a bearish bearish market but where will it be my end or when where and when should i enter so i have to come to 15 minutes time frame so that i can answer that question once i am on 15 minutes time frame once i am on 15 minutes time frame right there are things that i will see on 15 minutes time frame that i, I didn't see that i didn't see on uh, on four uh, on, on four hours time frame or there are things that i'll see on 10 days mmc that I'll, uh, i didn't see on 40 days mc right now i want you to see this closely uh on 15 minutes time frame is the time frame that we use to check for 10 days mmc now i want to put this uh, instrument on 10 days mc so that i can see what i didn't see on when i was on uh 40 days mmc now counting 10 days from when the market closed one two remember on 15 time frame each period separate represent one day so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so 10 days mmc uh for those who don't understand why we count 10 days you have to go back to my other video so that you can see why we count 10 days uh i have explained everything there so after i'm done with that i also mark the highest price within 15 minutes time frame i mean within 10 days uh the previous 10 days and the lowest time frame here 
and the second lowest the second lowest here the second highest uh, the second highest there right now you see when we were on 40 days MMC we saw that it's a bearish it's a bearish what it's a bearish market coming to 15 minutes time frame we see that on 15 minutes time frame under 10 days MC it tells us that the price is near the demand zone which means it is a bullish market now don't get confused don't get confused at all don't get confused at all now for us to be able to explain more about this scenario i also have to put this i also have to put this under fibonacci trace so that i can see some important numbers so from the peak to the trough down there right uh, to put it there right looking at this you see before the market decided to close before the market decided to close on friday it made this kind of movement boom up to 61.8 61.8 is a golden ratio fibonacci golden ratio right so the price managed to come to this point and then uh it went down to this point and then up to this 61.8 and then down again to 23.6 and it closed somewhere below 38.2 above 23.6 now that has got a meaning right you see this is very important because uh uh once when, when market makers want to to close the market or when they they see a lot of volume in the market they always want to uh, put the the price at a place uh at a place where it is undefined you it is uh it confuses some people who really don't understand the market makers foot footsteps but for you since you understand what is happening what is going on it, it's not going to confuse you why because remember we have also we already have a bigger picture a bigger picture that we have looked at is the, uh, the one that we saw on 40 days mmc for today's MC tells us that it's going to be it's a it's a, a, a bearish market, but on 15 minutes time frame you see it tells you that you have to come to this point you have to come to this point here to this to the supply zone there up there so that you can start you can start selling that means you have to to wait until the price is at the supply at the supply zone which is a resistance so that you can now start selling with confidence now that's not the case because we, all, we also have numbers we has we have 50 fiber levels where uh, uh the, the, the the price uh tended to make a retracement to this point before continuing with the uh, with its trend remember we have a bearish movement from this point it's a bearish movement so we have some numbers where uh the price tends to make some retracement or some pullback touch the numbers and then continue with the trend uh it can be 6.8 golden ratio fiber golden ratio or 50 and then it continues going down just like that so in this case i expect the same and that's why i want you when the market opens on monday uh, you have to to, to to take a look at two things number one uh, wait until you see the price has made this kind of move uh, back to 61.8 uh, or, or if not 61.8 at least 50 and once you see that just look for a bearish a bearish uh, market expect to see a bearish market there why because you already have a confirmation on 40 days mc that it's a bearish so a retracement at 60.8 the the the, 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 the the this behavior is likely to repeat the behavior that already happened here this year you see the price shifted jumped to 60.8 so here is likely to repeat when the market open on monday right so you have that one scenario that you have to look at either 61.8 or 50 you are looking for you you can be confident on selling this one 
Now, another scenario I said two, but I think there are three. Another scenario that you need to look at is, you see, you might come across a situation where there is a bullish market. Remember, this is a 15 minutes after friend. Bullish market. The price decided to come to retest or to uh, touch at the supply zone before uh, now falling down and the, respecting the setup that we saw on what the setup we saw on 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 40 days mc now the question is how do i know that now i want you to be very careful because uh you have to be you have to understand which scenario will will happen you have to to be sure which scenario will happen now for you to be able to understand which scenario will happen don't trade in this market on monday it will confuse you let the monday pass and let the Tuesday pass, right? Don't trade on Monday. Don't trade on Tuesday. Start trading on midweek. Now, I'm talking from experience, and I want you to understand this point. Do you want to hold this for a long time? I'm not saying that those people who will be trading on Monday will not make profit if the, if the price goes on your, on your side. You make profit, but if you want to make a, a sustainable profit, the profit that will... Uh, will give you a lot of pips, a lot of pips, uh, for, especially for swing traders. If you want to swing with this one, if you want to go far with this one, if you want to make a lot of pips, tons of pips from this one, trade this one from midweek. In fact, in the Forex market, many instruments right now, nowadays, if you trade in the from the midweek, you'll be very safe because you have time to take to take a look at what the market is 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 doing on monday that will in fact monday market is in most cases is an adjustment market or it's a correction market there is a lot of correction that is happening uh, especially in in this january uh, we have a lot of adjustment we have a lot of market correction we have a lot of things that are happening in the market right now and a lot of investors are coming back to the market and then there is a lot of volatility and movement so you have to be very careful don't just jump into the market because the market has just opened so wait on monday just take a look at this look take a look at this first scenario on monday if this scenario happen uh, or, uh if this scenario happen just just give it time don't just jump in uh because you have seen it has reached that 61.8 and start trading. No, the key point here, the key thing here is to, to trade, to take a look at this scenario and to trigger a button on the midweek, starting from the midweek on uh, Wednesday. Trigger your button into the market from Wednesday, my friend, right? Okay, so just keep looking at this scenario because sometimes to reach here, on on monday the same day on monday and then you say it's going to be a buy it's going to be a sell because i my, my mentor said that once it reach here it's going to be a sell no my friend i'm not saying for I, i'm not saying you, you should consider only one uh, condition you should put all condition in one place consider these scenarios and consider when i mean the a specific day that you need to go into the market. So on Monday it might reach here, but by the time you think it's a sell, you you find it going up again, up to this point, and you're like, what the hell is going on? I thought it's going to to be a sell. No, you missed the a point. You missed the, another point, which is when. Uh, that's very important, right? So once you see when you reach at the midweek and you see. All the scenario, the scenario has 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 has, has reached the, uh, the, the the specific area that is so supposed to be, and then you just trigger a button in the market with confidence. I'm telling you, it's going to be a very good experience for you. All right, now that is number one and number and then number two, number three. You come across a situation where when the market open on Monday, or not only on Monday, uh, when the market start. Uh, moving Monday or the Tuesday, you come across a situation where the market doesn't go up. It doesn't even go to 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 retest on this supply zone. What it does, 
it just go down to the demand zone it breaks the demand zone right once it breaks the demand zone uh, when you see this scenario and again when you see this kind of scenario happening happening on the midweek once you see this thing happening on the midweek wednesday thursday right wednesday thursday right and you see the breakout below this 15 minutes or 10 days demand zone and you see a retest has been made you see and once the price start falling down and it goes past this point right it goes past this point richly after the breakout sorry and it goes past this point right now you know what next it's going to be a very good a very good sell so breakout reaches then it goes past this point here this point here and then it's going to be a very good a very good sell now what's important here is also to uh, to consider the midweek reversal the midweek reversal market or the midweek continuation uh, the midweek trend continuation or the midweek reversal right when i'm saying midweek reversal you see the price moving opposite direction opposite the the intended direction for monday tuesday once it reach here on midweek it makes a market reversal it makes a market reversal and start going down big time and then it goes according to to our plans and then you are on the safe side you are on the safe side all right so this is gold this is gold uh you you can just take a look at this and make follow up on this now let's see uh another example another example uh let's see us 30 okay us 30 uh taking a look at us 30 on take a look at us 30 uh all right take a look at us 30 on 15 uh on four hours time frame uh uh 40 d mmc you so you start with 40 d mmc uh one two three four five six seven eight right so this is your 30 okay and then you mark there and you mark here all right so this is the highest uh the second highest somewhere there the lowest right the second lowest i think somewhere there and then you have this fiber right so in this case you see you have um in this point here the supply zone so the price you see the price is near the supply zone so you, you automatically you understand that it's now creating a kind of reversal pattern like this the left shoulder like the head it's not clear if this is going to be a right shoulder it's not clear yet but uh we need to take a look at this so um in this case uh, we can consider what is available for us the price is at the supply zone so if the price is at the supply zone and we see uh some uh some signals of a bearish market here then you would you know that it might be a very good uh bearish market if it goes as intended but uh for us to to know exactly if it's going to be it's going to be such we have to also to consider uh what's important now uh coming to uh coming to 15 minutes time frame coming to 15 minutes time frame what do we have so you do the same uh you do the same it contains this and then you count to 10 days uh, okay you count to 10 days so that you can get a picture there so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten right so i have ten here and then here right good okay uh so after i'm done with that so i have the highest price within 10 days the lowest uh within 10 days the second lowest 
right the highest the second highest right now i have this right and uh i'm gonna have this uh okay i'm gonna have this right now where the price is the price is uh the price actually closed uh, somewhere above 61.8 and is below 50 fiber level and which is near uh, it's at the middle it's not near it's at the middle uh, of demand and supply you have supply and demand so it's very technical it's very tricky it's very tricky because they 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 pushed the market not to close at the demand because when once they close the market at this demand they know exactly what you're gonna do you're gonna buy so once they close at this point they know exactly what you're gonna go you, you're gonna do you're gonna so they put the market somewhere at the middle just to confuse you so that you may not you may not just enter into the market uh, instantly you have to wait until you see uh, they, they they have to test you they they have to know if you know what is supposed to be done so you have to wait until you see uh, where the price so in this case we have already seen that the price on 40 days mc it's a it's a it's a what it's a bearish it's a bearish signal right but on 15 minutes time frame uh we we we, we don't just jump in and start selling why? Because we have some situation, we have some condition that have, have to be met before we go into the market and start selling. Why? You see, look at this point here. The price is at the middle here, right? So there are the following scenario that will happen. Number one, uh, the price, once it open on Monday, Monday and Tuesday, these two days, you have to just watch the market. Don't trade, just watch, right? Uh, once the price is open on Monday, you see, I expect the first scenario that I expect is this one, right? Just to test here at the what? At either this supply zone or at this point here, the one that they all, they also did. Once this point, this behavior can is likely to repeat the same here, just a little bit above 23.6, which is actually considered to be the same as the retest at this supply zone right this supply zone here and then after this just keep watching what the price is doing uh, on monday tuesday on wednesday once you see on wednesday that the price is still up there around this area or above to the 3.6 or above that 8.2 somewhere here around this area then you know since 40 days mmc has already given you a signal for a sell then you'll be you'll be you'll be entering for a sale right you'll be entering for a sale this is likely to happen so there are people who will be buying us 30 they'll be buying us 30 on monday just let them buy they'll be buying us 30 on tuesday just let them buy because you know you have to, you you want to uh, to you want to make sure that the odds are on your side everything is in place the odds are on your side and then you trade with confidence right let them do what they do uh, because you're going to take a lot of pips once this price start falling because the market what the market makers does is they just they just make a false movement just to collect the volume they just collect the volume they just need a lot of people on body as many people on board as possible uh, so once people start putting the orders buying orders buying orders once they have enough then boom they hit them harder right you understand what i mean eh? they hit them harder once you see you enjoy a bullish then boom this is what is happening right now that is the first scenario that is likely to happen and you might see it but there is another scenario that uh okay you find you come across a situation that when 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 you are you, when you are on Wednesday, or when the uh, when you reach on Wednesday, when you reach on Wednesday, you find that the price already started falling, the price already started started falling down, and then maybe once you are on Wednesday, the price is already below this demand zone. Don't get confused and don't mind this number of pips that you have missed here. Don't mind. Once you see the breakout below this demand zone. 
just wait be patient enough to wait for what for retest retest or a pullback and then uh, uh, a continuation once you see this uh, make sure that once the price has passed this level reached here this level reached after the breakout then you enter with confidence and you might be uh, taking advantage on Wednesday Wednesday evening market and Thursday evening market and so on and so forth so on Friday make sure that on Friday before the 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 the, 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 the closing before the closing of the market you get out of the market don't don't uh, 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 don't leave your orders in the market on Friday because uh, on Friday what will happen once the price has made this movement you see what they will do they will also put they will also do kind of pullback just to put the price at the point where uh, they will start another rally next next week so make sure my friend you get out of the market uh, on Friday, don't leave your orders in the market unless otherwise, if you are a positional trader or you are experienced this swing trader and you have enough capital, you can just let uh, your orders sleep with the, of course, minimum volume or a small lot size, uh, and then uh, you are safe, right? Okay, so um, if I may summarize, what's important here is. First of all, make sure you watch the trend or you watch the signal on 40 days MMC using 4 hours time frame. Once you have a clear picture of the direction of the market on 4 hours time frame or 40 days MMC, you come to 15 minutes time frame just to confirm some few things, some movements that will happen. You just uh, predict some movement that will happen and then let the market run on Monday let the market run on Tuesday on on Wednesday and Thursday make sure you take advantage of the two days Wednesday Thursday make money on Wednesday Thursday right and then you are you are good remember patience is the key and discipline is the most important thing when you are trading the forex market thank you very much guys if you have any question uh, please make sure you reach me uh, plus two five five uh, seven five eight four three thirty seven zero three on WhatsApp, or you may make me a call, uh, and uh, I'll help you out. Remember, we are providing some important uh, 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 full course uh, forex training and uh, uh, mentorship, lifetime mentorship, and uh, everything is explained. If you reach me, I'll give you some more details if you want to learn more about MMC and the other uh, 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 following uh, MMC clean sheet uh, packages. Thank you very much. See you guys.